Cincinnati Black Pride events kick off in about an hour, and this will be the first year events have been in person since 2019. Tonight's event is a town hall about wellness, and tomorrow night is a film festival. Our Evan Millward shows us what's in store. It's important that black queer people be recognized as being part of the history of Cincinnati because we always have been and we always will be. The inclusive pride flag flies over Cincinnati City Hall and the city will recognize Friday, June 17th as Black Pride Day. The same day, Cincinnati Black Pride will honor black queer people making a difference in our community. Recognition, its program chair, Ron Clemens, calls a major shift. I would have never thought when I moved here in 1975 that this would ever happen. I don't know, it's almost like the period at the end of the sentence. So you can start another story. Um, and I'm looking forward to that next chapter. Thursday night, Cincinnati Black Pride welcomes director Michael Rice to the Esquire Theater. When did you realize you were different? Having a film like Black As You Are would definitely create a spinoff of conversations for people to create spaces for dialogue and conversations and for parents to look and see what their child may be going through. 2020 was in a way a breaking point for him. Miles from vigils for George Floyd. A young woman named Diana Dior was brutally beaten on Facebook Live. On one end, here we are fighting for equality and fighting, you know, against police brutality. But then on the flip side, we have this, this violent attack against somebody of color, our black trans teen, a teenager. Rice says as a writer and filmmaker, a creator, he had to act. Black As You Are is a documentary about queer black youth and the real challenges they face in their own communities. And I don't know if there's a stigma in and of itself. I know it's a problem. It's focused on, I guess you could say, the black community or black trans women or young girls. Um, but the bigger picture is acceptance and love. In Clifton, I'm Evan Millward, WCPO 9 News.